Hello guys, welcome along to a pickup video. Now I've got some charity finds. All these were found in charity shops. A mix of stuff, it's all kind of retro stuff. Well, I, I've got some Wii, it's not really, no classes. Retro, GameCube, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1. Um, Nintendo DS, we'll start that, although that's not really retro, but it's last generation, if you, if you know what I mean. Rhythm Paradise. Um, charity Shop, 99p. I mean, a lot of these games I got before Christmas, you know, a few months before Christmas, and I've kind of collected them and been sitting in a pile. And um, so I think I bought this a few months ago. I don't buy a lot of DS games. Um, complete. I've still got my DS and I've still got a few games. And if I see these types of games, even though I've got like an R4 card. I'm still wanting to pick them up, especially at that kind of price. Let's go into a GameCube. Now, I picked this up, and I did have it in mind that I thought maybe it might have been worth a lot of money for trading in to CEX. It wasn't. I've kept it. Um, it's Viewful, uh, Beautiful, or Viewful Joe 2. Now, I've got the first one. Um complete. So it's nice to have the second one, had to be shot of this, um, and it's like you're making a kind of movie and it's a kind of beat em up, a scrolling kind of beat em up and you're collecting stuff and jumping and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, and I did I did pick up initially thinking, you know, it's 99p, I wonder if this is worth a wee, a wee bit of money because I knew it was a second one of the beautiful Joe. It's not really worth much, but um, so let's get into my collection. Keeping it in my collection. And there is no Xbox game here. Um, I love the Xbox. I love the original Xbox. I love the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. So every time I'm out, if I see an Xbox game and it's in decent condition and I've not got it, I'm picking it up. And this is the Simpsons Road Rage. Um, and is this the one kind of like Crazy Taxi? As my tablet over there comes in with an email, um, complete. Or is this the one that's kind of like Grand Theft Auto? You've got things to do, instructions. You know, you've got to pick up somebody, race somebody to the, the mall, and that kind of stuff. That's what I think it's like that one. Anyway, Simpsons, PlayStation Two games. This game um, looks amazing. Graphic wise, and it's Spider Man Amazing Allies Edition Spider Man Web of Shadows for PlayStation 2, um, and that's complete again. Now, I think if I mind right, I think I picked this up again thinking it might be worth a lot of money in CEX, and it wasn't so, it wasn't worth loads. I think I was going to make some, you know, a wee bit of money off it, but um, these are the type of games I usually keep anyway. I think I had it in my mind if, you know, if it was going to come back and it was worth, you know, 10 to 15 quid trading in, which is quite, I would, I would have traded it in. It wasn't. I think I was only going to make maybe two, three pound on it. And I'd rather keep it because I like these. These are the type of games I will keep. Um, Spider-Man. And then this one, Star Wars Battlefront. You know, I've got Battlefront for the original Xbox. Um... And I remember in Battlefront, obviously we've got the new one, which I've heard good things about. Um, and I had a wee shot of this. And I forgot, I, I, I played it quite a lot when it first came out in the original Xbox. Um, complete. And you forget, because uh, it reminded me of when I put the levels on, obviously you can just play against computer bots. And, and I, I remembered the, the levels that we're playing. Excellent game. Right, we're going to PlayStation 1. And I mentioned this a wee while ago, but no seen a lot of PlayStation 1 games and I'm seeing them all the time now. And I've got another four, seven here I picked up recently. Um, over the last couple of months, this is. Now here's a game I didn't even know nothing about. I'd never seen it. Um, Chase the Express. Heavy, heavy game. Because as you can see, it comes with, with two discs. Manual. 
um, inside here it looks like a kind of platformy kind of 007 type thing um, it's a military train okay hijacked by terrorists so you got to sneak inside the Italian job again these were all just picked up and they're all a pound or under 99 pence or under uh, the Italian job um, again they're all complete and they're all um, boxes are on good condition 007 the world is not enough um, again complete I mean, I'm not a huge massive Sony PlayStation fan PlayStation 1 fan um, so I'll, I'll only pick them up if they're in good condition and you know there's a chance that I will maybe play them because um, like I said I, I got rid of my PlayStation 1 collection kept a handful of games and got rid of the, the majority of them um, slowly building it back up although I'm, it's not like I'm on eBay it's not like I've got a list of games that I'm wanting to get and I'm on eBay checking and buying nothing like that I've not got any games in my head that I want to buy if I'm out in the wild in charity shops and I see one it looks interesting or I think you know it's a good game I'll back it up I'll pick it up and that's like this one, Medal of Honor. You know, I like the Medal of Honor games, but these are so hard. Hard in the sense it's the old control system. You know, I remember with the old control system, and I used to love that old control system. And I remember when the new control system came out, when you had the two analog sticks, and how hard it was to get used to that. But we're so used to it now that it's it's not it's normal. You go back to this game, and it's the, the left analog stick or the left D-pad will do your forward, back, left, right in a winner. And it's very, very hard to run smooth and lift your gun up to get headshots and that. Well, this has got the old style in it, because I put it on to have a wee look at it. And um, that's extremely hard to play because of that. Brilliant condition again. I mean, I have got stuff and I've cleaned it on. I think I showed it on one of my videos. So there have been stickers on here, but I've cleaned them up with that stuff I buy. Um, it's no goo off. I can't remember what it's called. Sticker off or something it is. Classic, classic game. I saw it. I picked it up. Gran Turismo 2. You've got to. I remember playing this back in the day. In fact, I've got two... All right, okay. I think I've got two manuals, but actually... Strategy guide. And then your... Um, the manual and obviously comes with the two discs you've got the arcade and you've got GT mode I remember playing this back in the day back in the day my friend had Gran Turismo and I remember um, spending more time in the garages and looking at new cars and looking at second hand cars than I did actually racing um, you know, another game I picked up I've picked up the first two of these I didn't really like them that much when I, I put them on. I had a wee shot of them. But it was only 99 pence and I thought, you know, I've got the number one and two and it's Toka World Touring Cars. I didn't know there was another one. So because I've got number one and two, I thought I'm picking this up to go with that collection. Um, complete manual with wee catalogue inside um, aye. Now the last game here is a beauty this is why I go into charity shops you know I can go 99 times out of 100 you go into charity shops you don't find anything that one time though you go in and you find yourself a gem it makes it all worthwhile and that pushes you on to keep going and keep going and keep going and I love, I dealt with the time, I love going in charity shots I've got two right next to me I'm pointing up here beyond the camera, but there's two just up there two seconds up the road um, I've got a local community one and this is where I found this one the local community one is my favourite one um, you walk in there, there's a lot of stuff a lot of kind of junk stuff and it's no laid out brilliantly and it's no high priced 
um, your clothes, you know, or 10 pence, 20 pence type of thing. You've got irons, you've got old TVs, you've got videos, you've got um, your books, games. And this lot here, I picked up, there's a pile here of Wii games I picked up from that same store. And I picked up this beauty, uh, 99 pence. And it goes on, it's on eBay every single time for about 25 quid to 30 quid. And it's Breath of Fire 4. Now it's an RPG. Now, I don't get all my RPGs. But, it's complete with a manual game. Box is perfect. Um, I'm just checking, ah, there's only one disc. Disc, perfect. Now, like I said, I don't get all my the RPGs. Um, but I'm keeping this in my collection. I got rid of a lot of my gems when I moved in here, you know, a year and a half ago. Because I needed to get the money for stuff and whatever else. And that's fine because then, you know, these things become meaningless. And at the end of the day, these things are kind of meaningless. But, you know, I'm in a better position and... So I get a good feeling when I find something like this out there in a charity shop. Um, and it's going to get a good home. All right, it's not going to get played to death. But it's going to get a, a good home in my house, in my collection. Um, and it makes it all worthwhile going to the charity shops. So when you find a game like that, I mean, I found a lot of them. And I, like I said, I sold them. But because um, I needed to take the thing. That's just what happens, eh? Um so I'm slowly kind of collecting, making my collection up again and getting a few gems in there. So that was in my local one that's up the road there. Um, and I found these games up here and all. And that's what the charity shop's luck. I mean, I'm in there two, three times a week. And it's just luck because obviously somebody had handed these in. I went in just after that and picked them up pound each. Now, I needed every single one of these games for the Wii, except for one. And I'll show you that first. Resident Evil 4. I picked up, it's not worth much, but um, I picked up anyway. Whether I'll put a trade or whether I'll get a group of games that I've maybe got and sell them locally, whatever. Resident Evil 4, Wii Edition. Alone in the Dark. Again, I've, I've got this for the Xbox 360, but I'll, a lot of these Wii games, and I don't know if this is one of them, a lot of them are different. Remember, I learnt that from a YouTuber. There's a Prince of Persia game that came out in other systems. And um, the Wii version is different. So it's like a different game. I don't know if this is like that, but Alone in the Dark. A couple of uh, shooting games. So we've got The House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return. Um, House of the Dead, obviously that came out on the, um, well, it was an arcade, I remember playing it in arcades. Um, Dreamcast, I think I've got House of the Dead 2, 1, on the Dreamcast. Um, and this one, I'd never played this before, and I didn't even know what kind of game it was. It's again, it's a kind of shooting game. And it's Resident Evil, the Umbrella, the Umbrella Chronicles. You started off, you start off on a train. And obviously the ones, so you're on a rail, a rail shooter, is that what you call these games, eh? Um, you don't actually move it, they're popping up behind the seats and coming through doors and stuff. Um, complete, with a big kind of pre-owned sticker in here. I can take them on the outside, but I can't really take them off here. Um, and the last game, which I'd seen a YouTuber and I can't remember who it was, and he had picked up the first one of this. I'm sure he picked it up on the original Xbox. Obscure. Well, anyway, this is Obscure 2. Um, a horror survival adventure game. Um, and I think I remember mentioning it, and you know, I just picked up the Obscure 2. That's funny that he picked up that, and he didn't know that, so he was going to put it on his list. And I can't remember who it was. Um, so it's two years ago. We were trapped inside a school, haunted by creatures. Some of them survived, while others perished. Now the survivors have picked up their life and joined 
college. All right, okay. Okay, and then that's what I remember putting this on. And you're right, you're in a kind of dormitory and you had to find your way to go somewhere. Now, obviously, you've got the wee controls. So it was a bit difficult to move and I remember how you had to find somewhere and there was dying. So, obscure too. So I picked, like I said, so I picked them up in my local community charity shop. Somebody obviously just handed them in, pound each. Aye, so there we go. These are my charity finds for the last kind of couple of months, really. Because um, they've been sitting through there for a while. Now, well, because obviously I've done my video, so I can put these away and fill them all away into my, into my collection. Um, aye. That's the gem I got through. So that was, um, I'm really happy to get that. And I've no intention to sell it or nothing. You know, I could make a lot of money off it, but um, I won't my collection. Whether I'll put it, ever put it on, I don't know. Um, I do struggle with the kind of RPG games. I would love to get them. I'd love to um, get that buzz out of here. I watch a lot of guys on YouTube talk about the, your RPGs and you know, their love for them, I just never, ever got it, I just, I struggle with them, only because I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't struggle because, um, any other reason, I just don't know what I'm doing, and all the stats, and, um, you know, all your battling, and levelling up, and all that kind of stuff, I just, I'm not sure what I'm doing, um, a lot of times when I put a game on, it's just a case of pointing me in the right direction, so I can kill these baddies over here, or, you know, I've got to go over here and find something, but um, charity shop finds. So there we go, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.